Hello friend, welcome to Hunt Electronics and this is your friend Saqib and in today's technical session we are going to learn about the Peltier, Peltier effect, what is meant by the Peltier and what are the different applications of the Peltier. So what is Peltier? So the Peltier is nothing but it is a semiconductor device which consists of P and N type. When we apply some Called a source, uh, there is a flow of charge through it. One side of the Peltier gets heated up, which is releasing the heat, and other side becomes the cool, which is observing the heat. So, my dear friend, you can see this is the Peltier chip which is available in the market. So, the number on the Peltier indicates the amount of voltage and current required for that particular chip. For example, if it 12, 705 it is 12 volt 5 ampere 12706 it is 12 volt 6 ampere so first two digits are voltage and last two digits are ampere and 7 is the size of the peltier it has got many applications like air condition mini refrigerator hot and cold water cooler etc so my dear friends, I got this uh, Peltier kit from the Amazon. There are many websites which are uh, giving this Peltier. I will be sharing this link in the description. So first I open this is the SMPS which is 12 volt, 5 ampere. Let us open the box and see what else we have got. This is the instruction set which I have got over here. The next is uh, the most important heat sink. Okay, which observes the heat which is generated by the Peltier. So this is another small heat sink which is going to release the cool air, the fan to reduce the heat. Okay, which is 12 volt 0 0.2 ampere. Uh, protection for the fan. Uh, we have got an insulator which should be placed between the Peltier and heat sink. And the most important, uh, the Peltier sensor, as I told you, it is 12706, so it is 12 volt, 6 ampere uh, Peltier sensor. And a small fan uh, to release the cool air to the atmosphere, it is 12 volt and 100 milliamp power consumption. So, my dear friend, without wasting time, let us start assembling with our new Peltier kit. So first you take a heat sink and take an insulator between the heat sink and Peltier. Remove the additive part. Remove the all cutted unwanted parts. Place it properly on the heat sink. Try to match the holes because we are supposed to tight a screw through it. So we have to uh, tight a heat sink through it. Before applying the Peltier, you have to apply the thermal paste. So we have got a thermal paste. There are different types of thermal paste available in the market. You can use uh, with the kit also. We have got a special thermal paste which you can use. Uh, thermal paste is a uh, element which uh, easily transmits the heat from one surface to another surface. Slowly you try to apply the thermal paste uh, on the surface of the heat sink. So my dear friends, we have done with applying the thermal paste. Uh, now, okay, now you can place a heat sink over here and just tighten the screw. So this is how you can fit a Peltier. So tighten it properly. There should not be any air gap between the Peltier sensor and heat sink. Okay, so this is how we have fitted the Peltier between the two heat sinks. This arrow indicates uh, on the fan, it is the direction of the air where it is going to flow. It should carry away all the heat uh, from the heat sink to the atmosphere. So we have fitted the fan on the heat sink. Okay, now let us uh, fit another fan. Again, tight all the four screw properly. Okay, so we have done with fitting the both the fan, both the heat sink. So my dear friend, now uh, as we are finished with all the fitting stuff, let us start with the power supply. So here we have got SMPS. Uh, so red wire indicates it is a plus 12 volt. Black indicates it is a ground. 
this is the power cord which has got a phase neutral and earth please take a precaution while connecting it properly I've taken the connector wire connector so one side we are giving the output of the smps let us check the output of the smps and so you can see the green color led indicates the SM smps is turned on the output of the smps is 11.82 now we have to adjust the output voltage of exactly 12.5 plus minus with tolerance so you can just adjust it so you can see it is 12.04 we have adjust the output of the smps now we have tied all the wire together like you can say the fan 1 red color wire fan 2 red color and peltier red we have tied together all the ground wires we have connected to together and we have we have connected to the smps through the connector let us turn on the system now so now you can see the fan is rotating the system is on so one side it is cold and another side is hot so my dear friends we have got a temperature thermometer which will change the board the temperature so we'll uh, place one uh, temperature sensor at the uh, one heat sink which is going to release the heat and other temperature sensor which is going to release the cool air okay let us see what is the temperature difference so one side is a 24 degree celsius and other side it is other side it is a 38 degree celsius you can see the difference one side is 38 degree celsius and other it is getting dropped to the 24 degree celsius okay so this is the peltier effect my dear friends so one side of the peltier it is releasing the heat and other side is observing heat means the temperature is getting lower so after five minutes you can see the one side the temperature from 24 it has dropped up to the 14 degree celsius so as i told you there are many applications for this you can you can make, create a mini refrigerator a mini bottle cooler and a mini air cooler etc etc so other side you can see it has dropped up to 14 degree celsius so that's it so my dear friend for more technical session like this please subscribe to my youtube channel please like share and subscribe Thank you.